Hey guys, this is Audrey Lolita Terry coming up in out of Austin, Texas with the prophetic word for somebody. The word is you are being tormented by high ranking demons. You are being tormented. These are not mild attacks. Okay. You are being tormented and God began to speak to my spirit last night about this. Okay. So I got a word for you. But before I get started, as always, I want to have a word of prayer. Pray with me, saints. Father God, I come into prayer. Lord God, giving you thanks, almighty God, because of who you are, God. Lord God, you are truly the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending, and the author and finisher of our faith, oh God. Father God, I pray, God, that if it's any covenants, Father, that I have made with the enemy, normally or unknowingly, I break that covenant because my covenant is with you, Lord God. Lord God, if it's any demonic portals I have opened up, normally or unknowingly, I close them shut and I seal it closed with the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus right now. Lord, I pray, Father God, that you will help me to bring this word forth. I command this old flesh to stand down and I ask that the Holy Spirit will stand up and speak, God. Let it not be my voice that's heard, but Lord, let it be you. Have your way. Ha, shata. Let get a little boat, son, a little boat, see ya. Father God, let this word reach whom it need to reach in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord God, open up their eyes and help them to see God. Lord, take the spiritual scales off their eyes, oh Father God. And those that have ears, let them hear, Father. Because you said in your word, my sheep should know my voice. And a stranger's voice, thou will not follow. Have your way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah to God be the glory and all the honor. I'm going to be coming from Matthew 17, 21. Okay. I'm going to be coming because the Lord just dropped this thing in my spirit. Uh, for some of you guys that saw the video when I was talking about the demon that was on my back, like I couldn't get this demon off my back and I was just quoting scriptures and praying and speaking a word and like he was just stuck on my back but God began to show me even with that demon on my back and me speaking the word of God and that demon not moving he began to show me the even the distractions that the enemy was throwing my way okay the different demons that was on my back but the Lord spoke to me okay the Lord spoke to me before but before I get into the word okay I would like to read this scripture Coming from Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. However, this kind does not go out except by fact, by prayer and fasting. I'm going to say this again. This is Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. Now I'm going to try to remember, guys, to put this in the description box, okay? However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Some people don't believe in fasting. I believe in fasting. Okay, I believe in the word of God. I believe in fasting and praying. Okay, because if you praying and you praying and you not getting no results, it's time to fast some intense fasting. And I mean, you don't you don't stop until you start seeing results. You keep going. The harder the enemy come for you, the harder you need to be praying and fasting in the mighty name of Jesus. If you don't see nothing the first time, you go back again. Mm, you be like Daniel. Okay, then you stay 21 days. He didn't plan to stay 21 days. Okay, that wasn't a plan. But his his prayers with the answer that he was praying for was held up by demons. I want you to hear me. These are high ranking demons. And this word is not for everybody. But this thing is going to resonate in your spirit. Because God was speaking strong to me last night. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. And these demons are distracting you with all kind of little things. Okay, and I begin to document some things because I know I could be getting ready to, to read, pick up my phone and read my scripture and, and something will pop up that I'm interested in, that I've been searching for, okay? That I've been searching for, but it's a distraction. These high-ranking demons know how to get your attention, know how to get your focus off of God. Come on, Holy Spirit, speak. And he's distracting you, even if it's just something as simple that you may think is harmless or is shopping, but it's taking your focus off of God. Mm, the Lord is getting ready to speak to somebody. It could be your children or your family member. Text message coming up and you're trying to fast and you're trying to pray, but it's a, it's a distraction. You reading your scripture on the phone and you got this message popping up on your phone. Okay, distractions. It's taking your focus off of what God got you doing. I want you to hear. And it, it may be good intentions. Okay, they mean good. But it's a distraction. 
The enemy is using it to distract you and to take your focus off of God. The Lord is getting ready to speak to somebody. It could be your finances. You have finances, financial difficulties, okay? It's taking your focus off of God. Some of you is your health, okay? And the enemy is, 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 is attacking your body, okay? And now you got your focus on the, the situation because you don't got a, a bad report from the doctor, but it's taking your focus off of God. Come on, Holy Spirit, speak. The Lord is getting ready to speak. It could be your marriage, okay, that's up under spiritual attack. Now, instead of you focusing on God, you 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 focusing on the situation. You don't make the situation bigger than God. Mm, the Holy Spirit is getting ready to speak. Come on, Holy Spirit, speak right now. Lord, I need you to move. Come on, Jesus, move. Oh, God. And then the, 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 some of you, it, it's, you're, you're suicidal. It, it's so, you, you got the spirit of suicide on you. I've seen the emails coming in last week, week and, I, and I saw like the spirit of suicidal, okay, on you. Remember, and some of you may not believe this, but I believe it. I believe that God won't put no more of me than I could bear because I know the Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of me. And I know what the word of God say. He said, I could do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And in that scripture where it says he won't give you no more than you could, you could handle. Okay. In that scripture, he also said he provides a way out and the way out is Jesus. We have a choice whether or not we want to take that way or we want to go the other way. Now, a lot of us will read a scripture and we'll get different things from it. But I believe in my spirit that God will not put no more of me than I could bear because I've lost my my husband, my grandmother, my mother, my daughter lost her mind. I was I lost my home. I was losing stuff. And the enemy came for me and tried to 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 make me feel like I wasn't going to make it. OK. And then I had the nerve to get in a bad relationship after that. OK. So it was just spiritual attacks on me back to back. But I chose life over death. The Lord is speaking to somebody. I chose to live and not die. Because mm, he said I could do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthens me. Not without him. I ain't talking about on my own. But I'm talking about with Jesus. I could do it all. Mm, I could overcome anything with Christ Jesus that strengthens me. Just don't leave me, Lord. I could do it. I could handle it. Mm, long as you with me. I can handle this situation. Thank you, Jesus, because I know that there's nothing more greater and powerful than my father. Mm. Now, some of you are going to believe and you're going to believe what you want to believe. And that's your decision. I'm just here to bring the word. And that's it. That's all I could do is just bring the word. And it's up to you to go search it out. And some of us are going to believe differently. And it's fine. We're entitled to believe what we want to believe. But nothing will uh, make me feel like I can't handle a situation because I know the Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of me. I know what my father say. He say, I never leave you and nor would I forsake you. The Lord is speaking to somebody. So the situation may seem great, mm, but I know that the God I serve is more greater. Mm, for greater is God that's in me than the enemy that's in the world. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And I come up against the spirit of suicidal. Mm, I renounce and denounce that spirit right now in the mighty name of Jesus with the blood of Jesus. And I cast it back into the pits of hell right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Because Satan, you're a liar. Mm, and let me tell y'all, the only thing that stopped me before I get into to Deep down in this message, the only thing that stopped me from taking my own life, I knew that the hell I was going through here on this earth, I knew if I couldn't take it here, I knew I wasn't going to be able to take eternal hell. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Lord, speaking to somebody, if you can't deal with the hell here that you're going through, you're not going to be able to handle that fire. Come on, help me, Holy Spirit. Ain't no celebration when you go to hell. Come on now. Hey, there's no part in having a good time when you go to hell. There's The Bible says there's eternal torment. Mm, you're going to be eternal tormented. Okay. The Holy Spirit is speaking to somebody. Mm, so I want you to pray about this. This word is not for everybody, but I know that it's for somebody. Mm, and I know the Lord is going to see you to this message to get this message. I chose to live and not die. Thank you, Father. The Holy Spirit is speaking to somebody, somebody else contemplating suicide. Now I'm not a counselor. Okay. I'm not a counselor. I don't have a degree in counseling. OK, my degree is in Jesus. But if you feel like you need counseling, it's OK to go get more help, to go get counseling. If you feel like you need somebody to talk to, OK, go and talk to somebody. 1-800-SUICIDE. I don't have no degree in that. OK, you need to if you need to seek help, go get you help. OK, it's nothing wrong with getting help. Don't be ashamed with going to get help. All right. It's nothing wrong with that because I'm seeing that a lot come through. You know, a lot of people just getting tired 
and exhausted. But the, the Lord gave me this scripture. Nothing. Some, some of these demons you dealing with, some of you guys are dealing with a high ranking demon and they coming for you. They coming for you. They coming for you. I wrote down some some notes here. And, and some of you, I mean, it, everything is is falling apart. You got the, the kitchen sink. I mean, everything. The, if it ain't the car. And I used to hear people say, if it ain't one thing, it's another. When I say the enemy is coming for you, I mean, every time you try to get it together, here he come again. Mm. Here he come again. It's the children, the car breaking down. Okay. The roof, the, the, the roof's caving in now. Okay. It, it, it's something to try to take your focus because it's a distraction from the enemy. Mm. But Paul said, we got to be steadfast and unmovable. You got to be able to keep your focus on God in spite of what come your way. Yeah, it's a fact. That my car may be breaking down. Oh, the roof may be caving in. Children ain't acting right. My marriage falling apart. But you know what? I know that God is more greater and more powerful than what I see. Thank you, Father. What is it you make it more greater and more powerful? Mm. Is it that is it that high ranking demon that you make it more powerful than your God? Thank you, Jesus. Because from what I've read, there is nothing what I believe. There is nothing more powerful. I want you to hear me. More greater. Mm, I don't care what's going on in a pandemic. I know what my father say. What affect others would not affect me. Oh, though a thousand may fall at my side, 10,000 at my right hand. It will not come near me. I will only witness the wicked being punished from a distance. Who is the Lord speaking to today? The Lord is speaking right now. Come on, Holy Spirit. Have your way right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. How bad do you need God to move? How bad do you need that situation to be turned around? We say it's bad, but how bad? Mm, how bad do you need God? I say I'll be desperate for the Lord. Mm, even when things going good. Mm, I, 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 I be trying to store up prayers. Oh, just like people storing up canned goods for a hurricane. Hear what I say. I'll be storing up prayers just in case I'll be getting ready, getting armed. We got to be armed and ready at all times. Because let me tell you something. The, the, the enemy is, is prowling around. Mm, look into whom he may devour. I want y'all to hear me now. So you got to be equipped and ready at all times. You it, it, go to Ephesians. I think it's Ephesians 6. Okay. The Bible says we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but with principalities. Okay. We're, 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 we're going through these ain't little demons no more that some of you guys are dealing with. Some of you guys that, I mean, you, 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 you have a, a mantle on your life and this mantle you carrying is heavy and the enemy is coming for you. Okay, he is coming for you because of that mantle, that anointing that's on your life has drawn these high ranking demons and you are being spiritually attacked. Spiritual attack. And these ain't little attacks. You find yourself, you, you, you're praying, you're praying. It's like nothing was shifting. I was quoting scriptures and that demon would not get off my back. He, I mean, like he was just glued and I was turning all around. I was just speaking the word of God and God began to speak to me when I woke up. He spoke to me. Okay, these are not small demons that you are dealing with. These are high ranking demons. Okay. You ain't dealing with no little witches. I want you to hear me. Some of you guys are dealing with high ranking demons and this kind only move by fasting and praying. I want you to hear me not praying one or two times. You, you, I pray. I fast. I mean, I fast all the time. Okay. I fast all the time because I try to stay ready. I try to stay equipped and armed, okay? He said, equip, gird up your lungs with, with the truth, okay? And equip yourself with the breastplate of righteousness. Let your feet be shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Oh, and get your shield of faith so that you may quench all the fairy god dots. I want you to hear me. And then get your helmet of salvation and don't forget your sword, which is the word of God, okay? So that you will be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. Mm. OK, you got to be ready, armed and ready. And how you get yourself armed and ready? Praying. Don't sit and just wait on these videos to come up. Yes, yeah, good. Put on your net notification. But you got to study. The Bible said we must study to show thyself approval. Study the word of God for yourself. Don't 
don't wait around on people to just bring it to you. Google. I Google everything. Okay. I don't know everything, but let me tell you something. When I'm going through saints, I know enough to get me through. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah to God be the glory. And I'm still searching out more, still looking for more of Jesus. I can't get enough of him. Okay. Oh Lord, just give me more until I run over. Overflow me, God, with your word, God. Fill me up. Father, give me more wisdom. Give me more knowledge and understanding with all my giddings, oh God. Oh God, I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. I want you guys. Matthew chapter 17. Ch chapter 17, verses 14 through 21. Go read it. Okay, when Jesus was talking because the disciples tried to pray for this demon to come at the boy. And the demon wouldn't move. It wouldn't even move. Some of you just praying, but that demon ain't moving. It ain't even budging. It's not even shifting. It's glued. It's glued to you. I mean, just tormenting you with everything, throwing everything. I mean, I'm blocking, shutting all kind of doors on you. I mean, everything. But the Lord is allowing this because the Lord is requiring you to go higher. Mm, the Lord is calling some of you to another level. It's time to move out of that place where you are because the Bible says to whom much is given, much is required. And the Lord is requiring more from us. Even myself and God showed me that. Okay, those little scriptures I was I was quoting, nothing, I mean, it wasn't moving. It wasn't moving. Thank God I'm on this fast. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. And the Lord is calling some of you that are not on a fast to keep going a fast. Go on a fast. Whatever fast the Holy Spirit put in your spirit to go on is all kind of fasts on YouTube. Go let the Holy Spirit lead you and fast and pray. Because I'm telling you, you got to be, we got to be ready. Because these demons that's coming for us are not playing with us. They are coming to destroy. Mm. So that's why you see so many people taking their life. Oh, the enemy is coming to, to destroy us. Your families, your marriages, your finances. Oh yeah, he's not playing. But I come right now in the mighty name of Jesus, with the blood of Jesus. I come to uproot, tear down, and to destroy and dominate the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus with the power that he's, he's given me. He said that I would be able to tread on top of serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And none by any means will be able to harm me. Okay, I like this scripture, Ephesians 3.20. Now to him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask to think according to the power that worketh in me. Thank you, Father. You hear that? According to the power that's within you. What do you believe? Are you believing? Do you believe that you are defeated? Because if you believe that you are defeated, then you are defeated. Thank you, Jesus. If you believe that, whatever you believe, you will receive. Hear what I'm saying? If it's not for your own selfish gratification. There's no good thing will our Father withhold from them that walk uprightly. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory and all of the honor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand it in the way of sinners, nor sit it in the seat of the scornful. Mm, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. In his delight do he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. And whatever he do, it shall prosper. Oh, thank you, Jesus. His leaf will not wither. Whatever he do will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Saints, we got to be prayerful about the company and even our surroundings, okay? When you want something so bad and you need God to move, this ain't the time to be just having company and spurging and partying and having a good time. The Lord speaking to somebody. You need the Lord to move, but what are you doing for him to move? The Lord speaking. Are you spending time with him? Are you meditating in your word? Oh, I'm expecting great things. Thank you, Jesus. Not just for myself, but for this ministry. I believe God going to do Ooh, the unexpected. Yes, Lord. I believe that. I believe people going to be healed. Some going to be delivered. Financial breakthrough. Testimonies going to be coming in. I mean, back to back. All for the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you something, saints. God is faithful, even when we're not. Mm, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And you know, and I used to say, well, Lord, you, you bless me. I remember when I was in my sin, he did. But now he's requiring more for me. The Lord speaking to somebody. Now he's requiring more from you. The Lord is calling you to a higher, higher level. Some of you have powerful anointings, these mantles that you're carrying on your life. Okay, that's what's drawing these high ranking demons are coming 
not to dance with you, but to destroy you. I want you to hear what I'm saying, saints. The Lord is speaking right now. Okay, I could not get that demon off my back. Mm, okay, now I'm fasting and praying. And now it all makes sense why the Lord was calling me into fasting and praying. Yes, we got to stay prayed up and, and, and fasting too. Some people don't want to do it. Some people don't want to push away from that table. But as greedy as I am, as much as I like to eat, oh, I'm going to push away from the table. Oh, when I need when I need to get my father attention, okay, and I feel like nothing ain't shifting for me, oh, I'm pushing away from the table. Oh, because I'm going to see something move in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe God. I believe him. I believe him. And, you know, I started to get a, a little weak. Yesterday, I was laying in the bed and not weak as hungry. He's giving me strength in that part. I'm not weak with being hungry, but I started to get a little weak, like a, the spirit of like depression tried to lay on me. And I went to praying in the tongues. I started praying in, in the spirit. I got in the spirit. And when I got in the spirit, it lift. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is speaking. Sometimes, saints, it's okay to pray. Okay, regular prayers. But sometimes it's good to pray in the spirit. Mm, for those of you that's filled with the Holy Spirit and for those of you that don't, don't uh, not feel with the Holy Spirit, let's get filled. Let's get if you if you um, if you've been baptized, all you got to do is tap in. The Holy Spirit is on the inside of you. If you believe that he, he's there. OK, because he said, I never leave you nor would I forsake you. OK, he never left me. It was me when I was living in my sin that 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 um, that turned away from God. But God never left me. If the truth be told, the reason why the enemy didn't kill and destroy me because the hand of God was on my life. OK, the hand of God, just like he's on your life. I'm alive. I overcame all that with God that strengthens me, not on my own, not on my own might, but with the power and the might of God. I want you to hear me and you too can overcome what you're going through with the strength of God that dwells on the inside of you. The power that he says has given you. It's time for you to tap into that power and to activate that power and to speak into existence what you believe in God for. Even when you don't see, you say, I'm speaking it, but I don't see nothing. Keep speaking it. In the mighty name of Jesus, with the blood of Jesus, don't you stop. Keep speaking it. Mm. The, gener the, the, gener the, the people, young people that's coming up today, even some of the old ones, okay? When we don't see things shift the right, right way, we get frustrated and aggravated. Then we want to quit and stop. Mm -mm. God say ain't no time to be quitting and stopping, okay? You got to keep speaking and keep it moving. Mm. Remember, as a man, think it, so is he. Mm. What do you think? How do you feel? I can't change how you feel or how you think. All I could do is bring the word of God, okay, to you and, and hope and pray that seeds will be planted. Thank you, Father. Mm. Be not weary, saints, in well-doing. For in due season, we should reap if we faint not. Thank you, Father. I get attacked too, but I'm determined to stand. My mother used to always say, what don't break you or make you stronger. I want to read this scripture that I had pulled up. Perseverance. Here it is. And this is coming from Romans 5, 3. Not only so, but we ask glory in our suffering because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Steadfast. Mm, like Paul said, we must be steadfast and unmovable, unshakable. Come on, help me, Holy Spirit. And it's not only me, perseverance means persistence, staying power. You got the stand power, the endurance and the patience. Mm, you able to endure that thing. Come on, Holy. What don't, what don't, what don't break you, it'll make it's making you stronger. I want you to hear me. Thank you, Father. So those of you thinking you're going to die, you, you can overcome this. You can make it. You can do all things, not on your own, on your own strength, but the strength of the Father. Thank you, Father. If you chose to take that way, not the choice is ours. What is it that you're choosing today? Which way are you choosing to go today? Because if you're choosing to die because of a situation and somebody done died or somebody done walked out your life and left you, then you making them your God already. OK, because God should be the only one that we cannot live without. Yes, I love my grandmother. She raised me with all my heart. Yes, I love my mother with all my heart. Yes, I love my husband. Yes. OK, but they're gone and I could live without them. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, because the only person that I cannot live without, I can't live without God. But I could live without, without even my family, even my children. I could live without because I have made God the center of my life. He's the center, my all in all, my everything. Thank you, Father. I pray that this word bless whom it need to bless. Okay. I'm not going to stay on here any longer. I put the, 
the description of the sinner's prayer in, a, in the bottom of the description box. Okay. And remember, guys, I'm not responding to prayers to after Friday after 6 a.m. Praise God. I want you guys to know that I love you. I love you. I love you. Mwah. Be blessed. Until next time. Bye-bye.